Hello, Michael Talbot Kelly here. Wow, I don't even know how to put into words the excitement that I feel about getting you from a day job into a purpose-driven job. A job that just makes money and pays the bills and does what you need to do to create a life uh, to now coming across the bridge to really stepping into what you're built for and what you're made for and, and yeah, the hard work that needs to go with bringing that into the world in a fully expressed way. So this people plan a profit, this is really just about money actually or it can be just about success in and of itself. This is about prosperity. This is about a prosperity and a currency of who you are being coming into the world and exchanging yes being seen, being heard, seeing others, hearing others, as well as, yeah, sharing money and wealth and collecting lots of goodies and wealth and money and all the rest of it as well. So there's a currency of health, of vitality, of intimacy, of prosperity, absolutely. That's this camp. But let's back up for a second because we have been talking about this within the context of Freedom Mountain. Do you remember? You think about Freedom Mountain, there is three slopes to Freedom Mountain. Do you remember? There's the one that we talked about self and we talked about relationships or others. These are relationships, these are relationships. So there's a third, a third here and then on the back side there, now we're talking about movement from work, day job, um, not a lot of saggy energy, you just got to do what you got to do to make it work. Uh, maybe struggling with that, maybe struggling a lot with that. So that comes into my office all the time. So, and then they say, okay, well, I want to get across here. I want to get across the bridge to my, my real service to humanity. People, planet, profit, ETC. That's all of what we're going to be talking about now. So that's the context we've done. We're actually moving right along. We spent 10 newsletters, videos on training. Yeah, free for you on relationships, on relationship with others, the second marriage, moving out of the first marriage. If you haven't seen it, go back. It's on my website. Um, we did self. We did 10 how to do self-care really well, how to promote a genuine, yes, prosperity that's outside necessarily of financial world or your gift to humanity it's just you getting your cup full and so you can bring the trunk of your energy all that energy up the trunk of who you are into these two areas of relationship and and your service to humanity so we're we're wandering into this territory here this is the context if you haven't seen it we're going to be now doing this we're going to get be able to check that off in the next 10 sessions but i really want to tell you about this formula it's it's fantastic it's a way for you to get from work across this bridge okay so playing small here right there's little old you uh, so so happiness right and then coming all the way across this bridge to now you being your fully expressed self with a big grin and everything like that Right? Who you are when you're in your joy, when you're doing what you love to do. This is you oozing. You're, this is you beauty dripping. You know, you're dripping with beauty, you're purpose driven, you're feeling like you're living a meaningful life, you've got, your heart is zinging. Okay, my red pen ran out, but let me see if I can find another one, because I kind of like the red. I can't find the red. There's no red. It's an orange heart today. It's full of energy. It's like the sun, right? And, it, and it's you going to work every day. Get in, you can't get, I, like today, I couldn't, I was so excited to come in because this is what, it, we've all done some work, but we need to be now. If you're, if you're a young person looking to get on purpose, there's a purpose formula that, that I want to tell you about in the next, actually in the next five or six sessions. Um, but also today, I want to lay it out so that you can start to get a sense of it. But also, if you're a midlife, if so if you're a young person struggling with purpose, struggling with a meaningful life and how you want to contribute, a lot of my nephews and nieces, they, they, they talk to me about a lot of their friends being really challenged by not being able to, they know how to make money, that's, that's fair enough, but they, want to, they really want to participate in something that is meaningful. So this is what we're going to be talking about, the formula, but also 
we want to be talking about how it is that when you arrive that you really step into this territory and you feel like you're if you are the tree of life you're grounding yourself way into this root and it's okay if it takes a little bit of time for you to fully express all of what's in your heart of hearts but you'll know in the end you'll know uh, hopefully by the end of this newsletter this video that of, of what it is that you 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 really need to get back uh, on track with and start putting some putting some roots down into that territory because it is a territory I just I want to say that over and over again it's not just a oh I think that's just I'll just stand over there no it's a place that you step into it's a place that you bring to your life it's something that you internalize and you start to live into every day. And it's not just like, okay, ding, you know, okay, I know what I gotta do. I gotta be the President of the United States, which would be great, by the way. Um, we gotta be the, the president, new President, or you see something, you have a vision, you call something that is pulling you out of this slumber of being half asleep and mediocre life, getting caught up with a six pack at the gym and not going to your body, mind, soul gym, which is going to be this formula, uh, and really stepping into what it is that you were built for. Okay, because hard work outperforms gifts or talent or purpose if talent or gifts or hard work don't work hard, right? Hard work outperforms talent unless talent works hard, right? So it doesn't, all the research shows, it doesn't matter if you're gifted, it doesn't matter if you've got talent, it doesn't matter if you've got a genius running through your system and you believe, like the Greeks did, that you came with the genius, you came with a guide, you came with somebody that's your muse that's really pressing upon you to mobilize the hieroglyphics that's inside your heart in this third area of your life, this third domain of your life, right? If you're being pressed upon to do that and you don't have the courage or you don't have the strength or you don't know how to do that, you don't know what the territory is, then you need to give me a call. You need to give somebody a call to help you mentor across this bridge, okay? But today, anyway, we'll talk some more about that. Today, I want to share the formula with you, okay? Okay, you ready? I'm just kidding. I'm not going to share it. Okay, a little bit of Irish humor here. Okay, so if we want to go across this bridge, what is the bridge? The bridge that takes us across here, moving from misery to real happiness, and ter in terms of work, but also you're gonna, it'll spill over. If you're happy in doing your service, it'll spill over into your relationships and, and of course, into yourself. So just smile at the back of my head just for a second while I get this down, okay? So the first thing is we need to get dialed into our true nature. I'm going to show you how to do that. Then we need to essentially lay out our, who, what our essential qualities are. Then we need to know what our natural gifts are, minus any kind of resistance or personality resistance, fear, anxiety, the dragon, you have to bump into that. You're supposed to bump into that. That's where the aliveness comes in. That's where you, the courage comes in. And then you have to aim towards a meaningful need. This, folks, is going to be our guiding formula for the next 10 sessions. And we're going to unpack in each of the next videos all of what this means. What does true nature mean? What does essential qualities mean? What is our natural gifts? What is our PR, personal resistance? What is that and our meaningful need? Each one of those we're going to talk about each one of these we're going to give you, give you some more opportunities to really define. But what I want you to do for next, the very next video that we're going to do after this, number two video on this work to service slope of Freedom Mountain, right? We're calling this Freedom Mountain. We have to deliver that in our lives. This is our metaphor and reality that's inside of us. What happens when we're living on Freedom Mountain? We feel fulfilled, fulfilled, we feel vital, we feel alive. We just, nothing can stop us, right? So that is literally a place we want to get to, but it's also metaphorically something that's already inside of us that we decide with an affirmation, but also with a declaration that we are going to live into every day. 
Why? Because we're got a busting out of our skin now, because you have the right people and allies and mentorship around you. Okay, so there is a PDF. I want to tell you about a PDF that is about this purpose formula. Okay, our purpose formula, so let's just call this purpose formula PDF. I need you guys to download that for next the next video because we're going to unload all of this stuff so that you can start moving in that direction. 10, 10, 10 under 10 minute newsletters that are going to help you really get clear about how it is that you can occupy this territory and get your roots down in there. Is it instant? No, it's not going to be instant, but it could be that you have a flash, an insight, and you know in the end what that call is, what your purpose is, but some of us need to go a little bit slower and examine each of these along the way. You guys up for this? It's gorgeous stuff. I want you to download the formula, the PDF formula, and we're going to do a rapid fire questionnaire that I'm going to ask you next time. And you better have a pen and paper ready if you want to take this on. If you're already in your direction, if you're young, if you're in a midlife, if you're in an older situation, but you really know there's an elder in there, you need to download this. And we're going to do a rapid fire questioning how to answer this formula very quickly. Okay, And then we're going to unpack it. Don't you love this stuff? I do. I'll see you next time.